The saliva sample you provide contains proteins. A protein is shown here up in the top left corner. Proteins are long chains of amino acids. In this saliva sample, there are many kinds of proteins along with other kinds of chemicals. A protein can be thought of as one long chain. Here you see this protein is one long chain, but it is coiled up or folded into a three-dimensional fold. The different kinds of proteins fold into different shapes, and the different shapes ultimately determine the function or the type of protein. The first chemical that is added to your saliva sample is to help unfold all of the proteins in the sample. This chemical is called dithiothreatol. Dithiothreatol helps unfold the proteins in the sample. We can imagine the protein unfolding here using the software. The protein, which was folded tightly into a three-dimensional shape, now is unfolded and becomes much more available to the next step in the process. Here you see the protein is still in one continuous chain, but it is unfolded, stretched out, kind of like a hose or a string. The next step is to add something that will chop up the protein that we have unfolded into smaller fragments. The best thing to do this is actually another kind of protein. This protein called trypsin is used to chop up our original protein into smaller fragments. So here we can see our protein which has been unfolded and now we're chopping it up into smaller fragments. These smaller fragments are called peptides. It is these peptides which will be placed onto the mass spectrometer in the next step to determine the amino acid sequence of these peptides. Now the sample is ready to be transferred into a mass spectrometer vial and then placed into the auto sampler of the mass spectrometer. After the sample is placed in the auto sampler of the mass spectrometer, we can then begin to collect data. The fragments of the protein which are in saliva samples are further fragmented by the mass spectrometer. The fragments which were represented by small chains in this picture are actually many atoms. This here is a image of all the different amino acids that make up this small peptide. Here we have about seven or eight amino acids and all the atoms that make up those amino acids. The mass spectrometer will further fragment this peptide into its individual amino acids. Peptides from proteins are unique in their amino acid sequence. Although there is some homogeneity amongst different proteins, it is relatively easy for the mass spectrometer to identify the initial amino acid sequence of the peptides. This information is often enough to identify the protein that the peptide came from. This is the way that we can identify which proteins were in the saliva sample provided.